As the defence industry changes in the use of technology, so the skills of those working within it need to change and develop. And it requires training institutes to respond to that. The International Aviation Technical College of Riyadh, operated by ARX Aerospace and Defence, has responded to that need and has introduced a number of new specialisations for their students. We spoke to the Dean of the College to tell us about what they're doing. So ARX, I noticed that you rebranded this year. Does this show a change of focus and perhaps a change of direction for the College? Uh, not, not so much a change of direction, but I think it probably represents our brand a little bit uh, more truly in the marketplace. I, I think previously, uh, you know, people saw us as an aviation-only company, but but really, uh, you know, we're looking for so much more, and the rebranding just positions us so that, you know, we can look at a whole range of different training options, certainly within the, in that uh, aeronautical space, but but certainly, uh, you know, chiming in with our uh, parent company, Shamal, in the defence industries. Uh, you know, we're very much about training. Uh, at the moment, our focus is aviation, but but certainly we think we have the capability to do so much more. Well, yes, and I do notice you've developed a number of interesting specialities, which, is that new to the kingdom? And, and why did you choose those particular areas to specialise? I think it's related to demand. I think, you know, the key issue for us is that we're responsive to the aviation industries. And, you know, as we've developed the college and gone deeper and deeper into what we can uh, provide and train and connect with industries, uh, you know, these specialties have come up. And, you know, we've moved into drone, we've moved into avionics, you know, certainly working with uh, the Saudi Royal Air Force, working with the uh, uh, GACA and the civil aviation companies. It, it meant that we had to look at whatever uh, their need was. And, and look, that's ever evolving. You know, the kingdom is changing changing so quickly here and the demand is so high that we really need to stay focused on delivering um, the specialties that, that uh, our industries and our businesses uh, you know, are looking for. Uh, our goal is that 100% of our students will be in employment, uh, currently sitting in the mid-90s, so uh, I, I think you know, our, our shift to those specialties has allowed us to do that. Um, and how does the college, how does the work you're doing and these new areas you're introducing contribute to the Saudi Vision 2030? Well, look, I mean, we're very proud of our contribution to the vision. I'm, you know, very much about creating the workforce of the future and very much about contributing to those educational goals that sit within there. Aviation plays a key part, technology plays a key part, but at the end of the day, it's about creating opportunities for young Saudi men uh, in the workforce and, and, look, in the future, hopefully uh, young Saudi women as well, uh, moving into to employment opportunities, servicing an industry. Our goal is to be the number one training provider in the Gulf region and, and certainly, uh, you know, we're well on our way towards that. And is the college able to leverage being part of Shamal, this much larger parent company? Oh, look, absolutely. I mean, being a part of the Shamal Group is, is really important to us. Uh, it, it gives us the connections that we need. I mean, uh, connecting within the kingdom is a really critical part to establishing our credibility. And Shamal, with their many different components, their different investments, their different defence um, activities, has allowed us to connect with all of those industries very quickly. And I think, you know, it, it's allowed the growth of... 300 students when we started, 5,000 today. We've certainly grown rapidly over the past seven years and I think our relationship with Shamal as our parent company has been absolutely essential to that.